नमस्कार माई नेम इज सुदशील घोष एंड आई एम टीचिंग टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर इंटरफेसिंग विथ द आर डी नो सो लेट एस सी हाउ एन अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर फंक्शन विद द आर डी नो वी विल गो गो अहेड एंड क्रिएट अ सर्किट Now, when you need to program the Arduino, we will bring in the Arduino first, and here it is. All right. Next, we will bring in the ultrasonic sensor. Now, there are two variants of the ultrasonic sensor. Number one, we will show both the variants to you. Number one is this one. If you see, look at this very carefully. This particular sensor has got four pins to it, and if I can show you the other one also, it does. This has got three pins to it. Now we can basically use both the pins. We can use both the pins, but I prefer to use the HC SR04 pin for the sake of convenience, because then it will be easier to understand. in the sense of the arduino okay number 1 so with this is have this is the arduino board here and if i rotate the uh hc04 sensor this is a sr04 sensor you are seeing four things what is the vcc what is what is the meaning of the vcc vcc basically means your power supply okay then g and d means the ground so definitely it is very clear that this is going to be connected to the ground now there is this trigger trigger and the second one is the echo so what does the trigger do so when you switch on the trigger it releases the ultrasonic wave and the echo receives the ultrasonic wave the reflected one and between the epochs it will measure the time between the epochs and based on the time and the speed of sound it will be able to calculate the distance so what we are seeing here is vcc trigger echo and ground so we have to connect our trigger to one digital pin echo to another digital pin then the ground to the ground and vcc to another pin okay so where will we connect the vcc let us see here okay so you can connect the vcc to this particular pin here this is written as 5 volt so you are going to connect the vcc to this 5 volt pin okay so let us see how we can do this connection okay so for the sake of convenience we will also rotate the arduino board okay so that will enable us to manage the space okay fine we have done that and we are going to place the ultrasonic sensor close to the arduino board let us zoom in okay now whenever we have zoomed in now let us let us zoom in a bit more okay and then we are having this vcc so we want to connect this vcc to this particular 5 volt here so we will just go around okay so we'll have connection from here okay and then we'll connect from here we go here and then we come here and connect to the vcc fine then the ground can be connected to the ground so we take the pin from here there you go come here we come here and we go and connect to the ground we can make this beautiful so that comfortably connections are made now the trigger can be connected to any of these pins here as you can see so we can connect the trigger say for example we'll connect this trigger to pin number 11 So remember the trigger is being connected to pin number 11 and the echo is being connected to pin number 
okay we are just making sure that 10 and 11 are the places where the trigger and echo are being connected okay now the connections are now made very successfully and what we have to do now is to see how this thing works okay so we made this connection we have just zoomed out so that we can when we run the simulation it will be visible to us okay now since the this particular thing is the sensor is an input device remember that sensor is an input device and I have to take the input of the measurement made by the sensor that is what I have to do okay the sensor is an input device for me for the Arduino board all right so we have to now code it so what do we have to do we have to just first of all put everything to the trash we'll do that now remember this is since this is an input so I am going to use this input here now you see in this particular input here there is this particular place where it says read ultrasonic distance sensor on trigger okay it's saying that so all right now as I told you there is we need to zoom in here again so to remember that we'll zoom, zoom in here and we'll see that the trigger pin is connected to pin number 11 the trigger pin here is connected to pin number 11 the eco pin is connected to pin number 10 so the trigger pin trigger pin <coughs> we have to mark it as 11 and the eco pin as pin number 10 so we have, it is very important that we fix this correctly now when we have done that when we have done that we need to just for the sake of convenience we will need to print this somewhere okay so by default when we run the program it will be done but anyhow we we'll let us read this particular signal and then leave it as it is and let us see how things operate right now okay right so we'll fold the code now so since we have folded the code we'll zoom out sufficiently zoom out from here and let us see what happens now when we run the simulation okay so it is initializing come here and we can see here that the distances are being read let us zoom in carefully and uh, you see that the distances are being read now it is as simple as that the distances are being read like this we can essentially stop the simulation now and we can also print the distance measured by the ultrasonic sensor to a particular console we call it the console okay so the console or the serial monitor is here we can print the distance measured to the serial monitor now we will do this professionally how will we do this we will create a variable we will set the value of the variable to the distance measured and then we'll print the value of the variable so that is a more logical process of doing it why because we might need the variable for another purpose okay so let us see we will create the variable so let us create the variable first we will create the variable so it is asking for the variable name so let us name the variable as dist we say okay so this dist variable is created okay so it is saying set dist2 okay now you see the shape of this particular area and you see the shape of this particular thing here okay so what I can do is just bring this thing here and put it inside okay and now what I'm going to do is essentially print the distance measured by this pin to the serial monitor so because printing is output we have to go here and then here you can see this print to serial monitor is here right okay so when we want to print the serial monitor what do we want to print we want to print the distance measured 
So we just pick the distance from here and remember that we have we have set the variable distance to the value read by the sensor and we are now printing the distance value of the distance variable. So if we run now, okay, so we'll, let us zoom out, we'll sufficiently zoom out from here. So okay, and let us zoom in out here and we'll run the simulation now and we can see this particular 177 value is being printed. You see this, it's very well printed now. So whatever value is being shown on the monitor, it is being printed to the console. Okay, so it can be functioning like this. We will stop the simulation here. If you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you are new to this channel, of course, please like, share and subscribe. If you are a subscriber of our channel, then please tell your friends to attend my lectures. Thank you. We will stop the simulation now.